uh, out of the University of Minnesota, I believe, and was on the U24 uh, national team that played in Perth this past uh, winter. So maybe not used to that seven-second stall count. Meckler, definitely an excellent player. There we go. Levi Jacobs able to chase down the huck for the opening score of the game. Getting a little heated down on the field. Levi's fired. Alley Cats uh, defense and offensive line for years. Yeah, for sure. Alley Cats with a double team on the goal line here. Minnesota puts up a throw. Towing the back line. They come down with the goal. And we're back. Alley Cats just received the pull. Kyle Cox gets the centering pass. And he's going to look to huck it on the first throw here. That is a gorgeous huck. Puts it up. Cameron Brock comes down with it just outside of the goal line here. And then Cameron Brock finds Levi Jacobs to finish it off. Throw off to him in this wind. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Coach Leonard call a timeout here, though he's been more trusting in his D-line offense than usual this year. Time running out here in the quarter. Alex Henderson tries to get it. He's really good at those roller poles. Gets him pretty, drives him pretty deep down the field and still out of bounds. Minnesota going in what has been the more upwind direction this game. Uh, but they work it pretty easily. They escape that initial double team. Levi looks like he's playing with no glove on his dominant hand. Maybe he needs to put on a pair of layout gloves and adjust to the weather. Layout gloves will definitely help. They help in all circumstances. Looks like Greg Cousins could use a pair himself. That's guts. Travis Carpenter is able to come up with an easy defense. He immediately looks to bounce it off the sideline. That's also something that Alec, the Cats have really been working on this season, trying to keep the disc in the middle of the field. Sam Sohn with the disc, and he puts one up. Levi Jacobs able to come. Connor Henderson and Donovan Triplett working the disc in the backfield. Got to get it out of their own end zone here. Nothing developing in the upfield space, and that's going to be a turnover. Looks like just a miscommunication. Maybe it came off. Almost went into the stands. I feel a little too far away from the stands this week. I, I miss the Grand Park crowd. You can hear everything that's said from the fans. You're really close to the players on the field. I miss that intimate atmosphere. Yeah, just so intimate at Grand Park. Miss being able to chat up the fans on the other end, especially going downwind on a night like tonight. My, I, th my I think Coach Eric Leonard is okay with that turnover. Not that's ecstatic, but just okay with it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's my favorite college offense is the Huck and Play defense. <laughs> So. That's D3 for you. There you go. Winchell with similar ideas. Putting the disc up, and they come down with it. Just put Spencer Loscar on his back. Nick Vogt comes down with the big sky. Yeah. Looks like Cox is going to start in the backfield at this point. Immediately goes to Travis Carpenter, who peels out of the front of the stack. Puts it to the far sideline. Cameron Brock with the disc. Cam right away. And that's going to float to the ground. Hangs up for a second. I thought the Minnesota offensive player was going to be able to have a chance at it. Yeah, maybe if we were on the ground looking at that play, it wouldn't have uh, seemed so close. But up here, it looked like he would have gotten there. Fortunate for the Alley Cats. Coaching off the back of the stack. And then Levi gets the long under. Puts it up deep, looking for Cameron Brock, who gets it just outside of the end zone. Trailing Keegan North. That's Levi's favorite favorite throw, the uh, Huck Blade. Kyle Cox waits for it, gets up and gets it. Cox looking for the deep strike. Keegan North puts it around. Part of this quarter. I, I don't think they're happy about being down. They're not used to being down to the Alley Cats, so we'll see what they do this quarter. Josh Klain centers the disc to Jason Cheetah. Cheetah with the disc. Cheetah and Klain playing a little bit of back and forth. Cheetah's a player that's certainly capable of going every other for the windchill. Definitely fishing, but still probably a foul. Don't give him too much credit. Josh Klain works it up the sideline. The Cheetah triplet matchup once again. Cheetah gets the better of triplet on that inside other's game, and I think Donovan made a good play there. They've been going at it all game. Yeah, I think that's the hottest matchup of the game. Cheetah yeah. and triplet. Kyle Cox, Levi Jacobs on the near sideline. I really like how poised Levi is this game. Uh, yeah, he typically shoots a lot of discs deep for the O-line, but he's uh, been holstering the trigger tonight, which I like. Spencer Loscar puts one across the field. 
Keegan North with a big sky to save the offensive point. Only up two, and the wind chill are pulling down wind. And that's a great pull. That's going to put... Alley Cats are making them work a little bit, playing over top their guys. Just as I say that, though, then Spencer lets a receiver go deep. Minnesota with the just deep. Minnesota, Oof. renewed energy. That's a layout. And that's going to be a foul call. Oh, may have gotten Levi Jacobs' arm as he went for that disc. It was, uh, it was a little behind him. Hard on defense. Looking for the switch. Not quite. Jason Cheetah. Around Heath Calabo oh. with the hand block, but a foul is called. Oof. Heath is fired up. This Levi Jacobs finds Keegan North in the middle of the field. Cox, Cox wide open poached. Oof. Oh, and that hits Spencer Loscar in the hands, and he's not able to come down with it. And this is for the tie if Winchill can punch it in. Draws the foul. Under seven seconds to go. Keegan North with the disc. And the Oscar goes too. Six seconds to go here after the refs reset the clock. The Cats just need one completed pass, and that'll seal the game.